go. Let him go. Look at, look though. Look at his mouth. Look how small his mouth is compared to all the other fish. It's tiny. All right, Bubba. There you go. Cool. Good stuff. He's the first fish of the day. He's not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. All right, he's going back in the water. Thanks, bud. Thanks, bud. He's going back in the water. And uh, I've got a line. I've got a mess. i got a problem. OK, quick rundown. So the target today, slob channel cat. And the game plan is fairly straightforward. So this isn't a full weekend. Um, I don't have, I give him one day to fish. My, my goal is to get in 12 hours. Uh, so that doesn't give me a whole ton of time to, to move around uh, and you know sort of paddle all over and put together a pattern. So instead what I'm gonna try and do here is just put myself on a high percentage spot and uh, see if I can catch a few good fish. So I'm in shallow, weedy water. And typically that means I'm going to use a float. So I'm using floats. I'm sitting right on the edge of the channel next to the big flat and the wind and current are pushing into a giant section of lily pads. So I'm anchored up. I'm actually tied off to a buoy marking the, 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 ch the river channel. So I'm tied off here right on the edge of the channel right in front of that big uh, break line of lily pads. So I've got the intersection of the channel and the lily pads, which is where I'm gonna focus my attention. And with the wind and current at my back, I should be able to always keep baits out in front of that lily pad section and the scent from the bait will be pushing into it. My thinking is that any active fish are likely to be moving along the front edge of those lily pads or along the edge of the channel. So sitting here at that intersection and being able to put my baits in place where the scent is gonna move out into the lily pads, um, I don't anticipate catching a ton of fish today, but I feel like I'm in pretty good position to catch two, three, four, really solid fish. So that's the game plan. Bam! I don't even think, I don't even think the, the bait, honestly, was probably still like fluttering down because the bait's not weighted, right? My bait's not weighted, so, oh, this is gonna work. Oh, there we go. 
um, the bait's not weighted. So when I cast it out, I mean, it takes a little bit, you know, for just the weight of the bait to pull down and, and put the, uh, you know, to, to, to sink, right? And I just cast this out. I got a big glob of, I got a big glob of garbage on here. It's gonna be a pretty solid fish. I tell it all. I tell it all with the weeds though. Please get some weeds. Get some weeds off and then add some. Oh! There you go. Saw those weeds off. He's gonna be an all right fish. I know that for sure. Honestly, seriously, I cast it out. I made an adjustment on my other line and looked out and saw that I didn't see my bobber anywhere. So I just started reeling down. I think he was coming towards me. I had to reel up a bunch of slack. having a small, it's always so ugly, so ugly when Denny catches a fish. All right, get this hook out. In the kayak. Uh. Yeah, all right. I think my lighting's probably terrible. me with that tail man nice fish nice fish all right we got a quick camera photo and then uh back in the water with him all right back in the water back in the water Almost doubled. Right, the bobber went down. Oh, let's get a little drag. Pull a little drag. He's got some pretty good head shakes. Oh, we're on the wrong side for the. Uh, I'm gonna 
see solid fish. fish right there. Solid, solid fish. I don't know what. <sighs> Not cool. I don't know what has happened with his eye. Let me give you one more look at his eye here. Look at that eye. Look at that eye. He's got his eye on you. Had to say it. Had to say it. And he's still. Oh. He's a fatty too. Look at that belly. Look at that belly. go. And away he goes. <laughs> 